This demonstration we're going to look at using the group policy diagnostic tool. So we're going to have a look at using GP update to refresh the group policies. We'll also have a look at using GP result to output the results to an HTML file. We'll then have a look at using the group policy modeling wizard to test the policy. Now, in the case of my LAM environment, it's not super complex. So uh, we do have some group policies, but not a lot. So uh, obviously in your organization, it's probably going to be a lot more complex. But generally speaking, the principles are the same. So what we'll do first off is we'll just come into PowerShell. And the first thing I want to do here is I've just written a couple of new PowerShell uh, commandlets to actually create some group policies. And now what I want to do is I want to update or refresh the group policies. So what we've done, created them, stored them out of directory. I now want to push them out to uh, this machine here. So to do that, I can use the GP update. And if we do a forward slash force, that'll force through all the settings. So that goes away, updates my policy. That'll do the computer policy. It'll also do the user policy as well. So there we go, computer policy update has completed successfully. And all I'm waiting for now is the user one as well. So we force that through. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to use the GP result commandlet to output the results of our group policies to an HTML file. So to do that, we have the GP result utility. And then what we can do within here, we can then do a forward slash H for HTML. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to push that out, C colon backslash GP result. And we'll stick dot HTML on there. Right, so we'll just hit enter there. So it's generating my report, saving my report. So now let's just come into Windows Explorer. Let's go to my C drive. And there you go. There's my report. We'll open this up. Just maximize it up. And there you go. There is our report. So as you can see, we can see all of the group policies and we can see exactly what those group policies are doing. Quite useful, not only for troubleshooting, but also for documentation. So the next thing to do, we'll just close that down. Right, another thing we can do is we can actually use the Group Policy Management Console as well. So if we just come to Tools here, and all we'll do is we'll just scroll down here and go to our Group Policy Management Console. Now this is launched up here. What we've got is down at the bottom here, we have our Group Policy Modeling. So what we can do here is actually create a new little uh, model to see exactly what group policies would affect which users and which machines those users log on to. So we'll select Next at this point here. We're going to do it for a datum.com, so we're happy with that. Then what we'll do here is for user information, we'll simulate group policies for um, some of our users. So let's just find a user. Let's go for Alan. And we want to see exactly what's going to happen if Alan logs on to, let's have a look here, just find a machine. He logs on to, let's say, LonDC1. Right, we'll click OK at this point here and we'll select Next. What we'll do here, we don't have a slow network connection. We're not going to bother with loopback processing. We are actually going to apply the, uh, the group policies computer then user. And in the case of the site, he's logging in the default first site name. Select next again. Okay, user location is OU equals marketing. Now what we could do here is we could browse through and actually put uh, it as though Alan's in a completely different organizational unit. And we could do the same thing with the computer. Because if we change user location or computer location, we may be affected by additional group policy objects. But we'll leave the defaults and select next. These are the groups that he's a member of. So we'll select next. These are the computer security groups that DC1's a member of. So next again. What we'll have here is we'll have a look at all linked filters for users and for computers. We'll then select next. And what it's now going to do, it's going to go away and it's going to model Alan logging on to LON DC1. So what we'll do here, we'll just have a look at more information. If we had a connection to the internet, that will go off and come back and give us some information. So if we then click on our details button, we can see which uh, computer details. So we can have a look at the computer name, computer container, we can have a look at the components. We can have a look at the policies that are in place. So for example, we could have a look at the security settings. So we can see which security settings he's affected by. Let's go for example, uh, the password policy. So we can see the password policy we can have a look at the applied group policy objects applied to Alan. So he's got the default domain controllers policy. He also gets the default domain policy. And again, if we just keep scrolling down here, we get some information relating to which group policies affect Alan if he logs onto a certain machine. 
And that's the end of this demonstration of our group policy diagnostic tools. I do encourage you to go away and have a good play with these. They do help massively in troubleshooting group policies. Thank you.